The Grizzlies were playing the Suns when something weird happened. Torrey Craig chased down Dylan Brooks and blocked his shot. Then he told Brooks, settle down. Y'all's best achievement is making the second round. The Grizz lost the game and Brooks admitted, I feel like this season when we get talked back to, we just freeze up. Ever since Brooks got in a screaming match with Shannon Sharp, their record is four and eight and they just barely beat the Jazz the other night. But the worst part, nobody feels sorry for this team. They are so arrogant, people are praying for their downfall. But it wasn't always this way. John Morant was a zero-star recruit who became an NBA star and proved everyone wrong. When people were complaining about food in the bubble, Josh said, toughen up, I wasn't born with a silver spoon. That kind of attitude made people love the Grizzlies. Dylan Brooks was a nobody in college who became an NBA starter. But that chip reminds you of Jimmy Butler, who is famous for trash talking, but backing it up. The problem with Memphis, they take it way too far. Anybody who's perceived as better than them is a target. So enemy number one is the Dynasty Warriors. But first, Prize Picks is today's sponsor. I use them to make NBA games more fun. And let's be honest, no offense, All-Star Weekend could use a little fun. But good news, Prize Picks has projections for the three-point contest, the slam dunk contest, Rising Stars game, and of course, the All-Star game. And all you have to do, as usual, is pick two to six squares, and if those players will go more or less, than their prize picks projections. And I wanna show you what my picks are for All-Star Weekend. Of course, we're gonna include a little dunk contest. So for the Rising Stars game, I'm gonna go Scoot Henderson. I think it's because we all wanna watch the team that has all of the G League players like Scottie Pippen Jr., whatever. They only score to 40 in this game. And in the dunk contest, I'm gonna go that Mac McClung in his first round dunk is gonna do well. He said he's gonna bring two dunks to the contest that had never been done before. I'm going more on both. And if you have yet to sign up for prize picks click the link in the description or use my code am hoops for an instant deposit match up to 100 bucks remember prize picks is legal in states like texas california florida and more thanks again to prize picks in 2020, Andre Iguodala was traded to Memphis, but refused to play for them. Dylan Brooks said, I can't wait till we trade him so we can play him and show him what really Memphis is about. Then the Grizz actually got good enough to knock out the Warriors in the play-in game. So Jaron Jackson Jr. once tweeted, strength in numbers, mocking the Dubs team motto. Their fans got annoying too. I love how whiny Golden State fans have become. Hm, probably our seven and four record against them since Triple J and Ja teamed up. Seriously, a little success and you're acting like that? But it only got worse. During the regular season, Steph was boxing out Brooks who pushed him on the ground. Not even close to a basketball play. Looked like he was trying to hurt Steph Curry. But in the playoffs, he succeeded succeeded in hurting a warrior. Brooks hit Gary Payton midair, breaking his elbow. Memphis should rent zero space in the warrior's head, but now it was personal. So when they won the title, Clay and Draymond said how they really feel. There was this one player on the Grizzlies who tweeted strength in numbers after they beat us in the regular season, and it pissed me off so much. I can't wait to retweet that thing, freaking bum. I think now they're going to get their reality check. Oh, the Grizz put that Draymond quote in their locker room and challenged them to Christmas Day. But even without Steph, the dubs embarrassed Memphis. Draymond acted like a kid when Dylan Brooks missed a free throw. So the whole trash talking thing backfired against the dubs. The great thing about sports, doesn't matter what you say, it's what you do. But no current player has done more than LeBron James, so naturally the Grizz went after him. Desmond Bain scored a layup on LeBron and said, those footsteps ain't scaring nobody. Meaning, you know, hey LeBron, you're getting a little old. So LeBron shoved Desmond Bain and lost it. I have never seen LeBron get this mad at a player. Missed field goal to Tim, but he'll go to the line and shoot some free throws. You know, the second pick, some were saying, oh, well, that's the consolation after Zion, but I'll tell you what. You visit that draft. <laughs> exactly. The referees are now telling all. Then a few plays later. 
<laughs> in both instances, with the Dubs and LeBron, the trash talk backfired. It only makes other players more determined to beat them. I mean, normally the team with the target on their back just won a championship, not lost in the second round. And without the talent to back it up, Memphis just ain't that guy, pal. You're feet. not that guy, pal. Trust me, you're not that guy. But it is also the arrogance that they have in the media. When Dylan Brooks got in a shouting match with Shannon Sharp, he called him a blogger and a pedestrian. Despite Shannon Sharp having a million times more success in pro sports, man is a Hall of Famer. Brooks has also called the Grizzlies a dynasty and showed zero respect for what the Warriors have done. You know, we're young and they're getting old, so... Um... They know we're coming every single year. But the worst moment is what Ja told ESPN about who he fears. Celtics. No one in the West. Nah, I'm fine in the West. You're fine in the West? Do you not realize you're 23 years old and you haven't actually done anything? So every team is out from Memphis, even like the Kings. Like when Jaw tried to intimidate Malik Monk saying, oh, you better hit these free throws before he hit them. Then it was Ja who missed free throws to lose the game. I mean, people are rooting for bad stuff like this to happen to them. They don't give them the benefit of the doubt. Like when Dylan Brooks smacked Donovan Mitchell, is anyone gonna think it was an accident? No. Everyone knows he's a dirty player, but the worst payback for Memphis hasn't even happened yet. In the playoffs, every team in the West is going to come hard for them. But since John made his disrespectful comment, the West has gotten a lot tougher. Here's a look at the big twos in the conference. Steph and Clay, LeBron and AD, KD and Book, Kawhi and PG, Luka and Kyrie. I give all those teams plus Denver a decent shot at beating the Grizzlies even the Lakers. So Jaw was asked again, they gave him a second chance about his comments about I'm fine. And he said, I don't care. Honestly, I said what I said and I meant that. The confidence I had when I said that is the confidence that got us to the point we're at now, being a top team in this league. And that actually makes a lot of sense. He should have just said that to begin with. I have total confidence in my team. Not hate on everybody else. If we were to list the most hated teams in the NBA, it would be Memphis, Phoenix, the Lakers, the Warriors, Celtics, Heat, and Hawks. Whatever order you put them in, hated by other players or just by fans, it's usually a good thing to be on this list. It means you're doing something right. But in the Grizzlies case, they have done less in the playoffs than all of these other teams recently. But someone really important isn't as confident. Reports came out the front office did everything they could to upgrade at the deadline. ESPN says they offered everything except for Ja, Triple J, and Bane for Kevin Durant. They offered seven first round picks for KD, but the Nets went with Phoenix's offer instead. Then they offered four first rounders for Mikal Bridges, a similar package for OG Ananobi, and got shut down. All they got was Luke Kennard, who went one for four in his debut. It is pretty clear that at least the Grizzlies front office thinks they are one piece at least away from contending. But the Grizzlies keep running their mouth like they're already there. A perfect example of this is like the Hawks. They were a fun young team, fun to root for, but they got a little success and then got so arrogant that now they are panicking as a franchise. These windows that teams teams have to win a championship are always smaller than you think. And if you're a team like the Grizzlies, don't make it harder on yourself by becoming the most hated team in the NBA. But the most hated owner in the NBA is a guy named James Dolan of the New York Knicks. If you've wondered, man, the Knicks are the number one market in the country. They always spend a ton of money. Why have they been so bad for 20 years? The answer for 20 years has been this guy, Jim Dolan. But now he is taking it to a whole nother level. There is a technology that is usually used for terrorists and criminals, but he is using that technology on his own fans. Check it out. 